A story you'll only see on two, two employees at O'Hare Airport are sounding the alarm on what they say is a homeless population that has gotten out of control there. And they say it's causing them to feel unsafe. CBS News' Jackie Kostek live at O'Hare this morning with more from those workers as well as the city's response to this. Jackie. Yeah, Ryan and Audrina, finding shelter on a brutally cold days like today is especially important. Now, those two employees are overnight custodians here at O'Hare, and they say security is not always around during their shift, and they have been harassed by the homeless population that is staying here overnight. So those two employees sending CBS2 these photos showing people sleeping on heater vents, using the terminal to dry their clothes, and leaving the bathrooms trashed. They have come up behind you. This one man followed us last night from the time we get here to the time we leave in the morning. They be here. Those employees say their managers tell them to be aware of their surroundings and call police, but they say police tell them that they can't do anything unless they're physically touched. The number of homeless people at O'Hare is growing. Haymarket Center serves the population and tracks the numbers. They say they've encountered 431 people back in 2021 and in 2022, 618. That's a 53% jump. But both Haymarket and the city agree that the terminal space outside of security is considered public property and the homeless community can be here. Now, the city is hoping that $60 million in federal funding to fight homelessness will help in the situation. That money was just announced yesterday and will go toward expanding placement services. At O'Hare, Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News.